U.S. West Cellular. And the forwards for Logan are Damon Anderson. Anderson, 6'5", junior, averaging 6.5 points a game, about five rebounds. Other starting forward is Paul Clark, who's been in double figures the last two games. And again, he makes Logan really effective if he can score some baskets. He averages 11 a game, 4.2 rebounds, and Clark is a 6'3 senior. The center is Rick Sampson at 6'1 senior. Logan's leading rebounder at 7.5 a game. He also gets about nine points a game. And then in the backcourt, Craig Carlston, six foot senior, averaging 7.4 and 5.3 rebounds. And Steve Smith, the 5'10 senior, fourth leading scorer in the region with 12.4 a game. And Smith, again, has been Logan's leading scorer most of the season now. Larry Comedina in his 12th year, again, looking for his 11th ever coaching victory against Mountain Crest. John Nielsen in his 11th season, looking for his 19th win against Logan, will start, I believe, the seniors tonight. So that would put Dave Simmons, a 5'10 senior, in there, averaging 11 points a game and 2.2 rebounds. Also, up on the forward line, Ben Lishman, a 6'3 senior, averaging 4.2 points and 4.6 rebounds. Jeff Baugh, real hard-nosed player. 2.7 is his scoring average. Baugh also gets about a rebound a contest on the average. Kyle Christensen, a 6'2 senior, averaging 2.2 a game and 1.2 rebounds. And then Matt Rudd, 6'3 senior, averaging 4.9 a game and also 4.1 rebounds. Dave Simmons, our pregame guest on radio, Skyview's student body, or I'm sorry, Mountain Crest student body president. And it looks like he is introducing the seniors right now, so that's the way John Nielsen will go in this last home game. So, referee tonight. I do not know the referee's name. As I look down there, I know Chuck Bogrinick is the umpire. I've seen the referee before, but uh, again, we're just about ready to get started. The Mustangs tonight in their white. And the navy blue numerals and orange trim. Grims the Grizzlies out in their crimson and gold. Crimson uniforms, gold trim. As we watch it for you, now the Valley Channel is going to see it the other way around. They're going to see Mountain Crest going from left to right. We watch it. Logan will go left to right. Towards the north, Logan will be going in the first half of play. So again, the two teams have split a couple of close ones up until now, and we're about set to get it started. At least we thought we were ready to get it started. Now there's a little bit of a delay out on the floor, and I don't know exactly why. All right, now we've got them all out. Al Lewis with you, and again, Valley Channel viewers, we appreciate you joining us. Sponsors make it possible on all sides, and we appreciate them very much. Both teams go into the state basketball tournament, it would appear, next week at the D Event Center in Ogden starting on Monday. Ben Lishman will jump center for Mountain Crest. Still trying to get something off of the floor that... Uh, Chuck Vogrenick, one of the officials, noticed, and Brand, uh, Braden Lindstrom, who's one of the Mountain Crest assistants, is down there almost like scraping something off. Looks like they took care of it enough. Well, I guess Chuck feels okay about it, so we're ready to go. Lishman against Anderson, jumping center. And here we go. 29th ever time the teams have met. The tap controlled by Logan. Carlston has it on the right-hand wing and gives it back to Steve Smith. Smith at the top of the key, Mountain Crest in a man-to-man. -man. Carlston on the right side, drive the baseline, back pass, Sampson. 14-footer, Rick, good. Rick Sampson with the first basket, a quick assist from Carlston, and Logan is up 2-0. In the Grizzlies in play, kind of loose. Christensen out front, Baugh now has it on the left-hand angle, down in the corner, left side. Up front, the pass goes through the hands of Christensen, but he gets it. Back it goes now to Simmons. Simmons between the leg dribbles. I guess he gets the assignment of running the offense with this particular lineup. Simmons out front with... Carlson on him, Logan's in a man-to-man. -man. Way out front, Rudd, Sampson's not gonna go out there. Lishman has it way out front, Anderson's not gonna go on him. Here's a dribble drive by Simmons, leave it back for Rudd, block shot Anderson. Rudd gets it back, he fakes, he goes up and hangs on the rim and doesn't go. Lishman gets the rebound and scores it. So they get a couple of putback tries and it's finally Ben Lishman who ties it at 2-2. Quickly, Logan is up. Clark tries to go down inside him. Ball knocked away, nice play by Rudd, picked up by Christensen. Up the sideline, it goes to Jeff Baugh. Baugh drives and spins on the baseline. Now he back passes to Lishman out front. Cross court, Kyle Christensen fake at the free throw line on Paul Clark. Pass from Baugh to Simmons, and it's denied by Sampson inside intended for Lishman, and he takes it away. Now here comes Logan with Steve Smith. Smith into the paint all the way, scooping up reverse across the body. No good. Hard down to the floor goes Anderson. Rebound Lishman for the uh, Mustangs. Up the sideline, Jeff Baugh. 
Out on the right-hand wing. Now Simmons, a long three. Off the rim, no good. The rebound on the baseline, Sampson, but he's running with the ball. He stepped out of bounds. So Sampson gets the rebound, then gets called for the travel. So Logan turns it over after the travel. We played a minute and a half, and it's tied 2-2. Two -two. B. Jeff bought inbound the ball for the Stangs. It'll be left-hand side of their bucket at the south here at Mustang Arena. He holds it high atop top the head. He goes in the corner to Kyle Christensen. Christensen goes to the corner of the key, rises, and shoots a 10-footer off the rim. Another offensive rebound by Lishman. He goes up and scores, and he's fouled. <laughs> Logan's been pretty good this year, denying a lot of offensive rebounds, but tonight, no. So far, Mountain Crest has started with great offensive rebounding. Carlson gets the foul, so the basket is in by Lishman off the missed shot. And Lishman now goes to the free throw line. Lishman, 73%. This Mountain Crest team could set a record for being the best free throw shooting team they've ever had over here, 72%. I noticed their record's like about 70%. And in the game at Logan, Mount Crest only hit 10 of 18, 59% of their free throws. Foul shot by Lishman is good. Mount Crest is up 5-2. to two. 6.20 left in the first quarter. Smith across the orange time stripe here at Mustang Arena. Gets it on the wing right-hand side of Paul Clark. Clark down to the right corner with Kyle Christensen on him. Jump pass, cross court, skip pass. Steve Smith for three out on the left angle. Uh, off the rim, no good. And Sampson flies, gets the rebound. His high arc banker on the rebound tries, no good. He picks up the garbage and scores it. Sampson just waited for a couple of Mustangs to go after it. Neither one got it. Sampson scored it. Great pass down in deep to Lishman. On Anderson, he scores it. Simmons made a great pass down to Lishman. And Lishman has started with all seven of Mountain Crest points. Simmons with a nice pass to Lishman. It's seven to four. Here's a dribble drive by Carlson, and then he throws it to Sampson down inside. Oh, they're going to say it's knocked out of bounds by Mountain Crest. I thought Sampson had last touched it. So Mountain Crest on the defense now. It'll be Carlson inbound the basketball on the baseline. He goes out to Smith on the left-hand wing. Top of the key now to Paul Clark. Clark comes down the key on the left side, and a reach-in foul called on the Mustangs. I think it's on Simmons. On well, Simmons is first. That's the first foul of the game on the Stangs at 538 left first quarter. Remember, the USU Community Credit Union, still low interest rates. Still a good time to refinance your home before the rates go up. Make sure you talk with the USU Community Credit Union. Him out the ball to Sampson. He flies to the basket and misses the shot. Christensen outlet the ball to Simmons at the free at the timeline. Simmons down the left side, put it in. Ten foot shot. Dave Simmons with a bucket. It's nine to four Mustangs. 525 left in the first quarter. Smith for Logan, brings it down, stop at the free throw line, lob pass over on the left side to Carlston, down inside Damon Anderson, in traffic, and jump ball! He gets tied up, he doesn't like the call, alternating possession, so give a turnover to Logan. So the Grizzlies turn it over at 5-16 in the first quarter, Mustangs are up by five, a good start, again Dave Simmons said they've kind of had trouble doing that, but again an emotional start for them with their seniors on their home floor playing well to get it started, and especially Lishman with seven, but he's been the beneficiary of some pretty good passes, and also he's been able to get some offensive boards. Jeff Ball on the left-hand wing, top of the key, Rudd. Way out front, Christensen. Logan still in the man. Simmons is away from Smith. He hits a three. Again, the guy who's got a lot more threes than twos. It's 12 to four Mustangs with a great start under five minutes to play. Smith in the first quarter. The free throw line goes for the shot. Taken away by Simmons. Simmons down the right side. Simmons all the way to the hoop. Scoop it in. Simmons with seven, 14-4. Clark in the front court on the right side for Logan. Clark spinning on the right side with Christensen's defense. Clark mounts it down inside to Sampson. Turn around, fall away in the base from 10, won't drop. Rebound, Lishman had it. Sampson picks it up, Sampson shoots, can't drop. Rebound comes off to uh, Baugh. Baugh the sidelines to Simmons. He rises for a 17-footer on the right side. It's no good, Lishman went for the rebound. It's still loose, Lishman's got it. He gets it out front now to Simmons. Mount Crest with the big lead of 10 and the ball at 4-12 left first quarter. Threatening to blow it open early. Lichman free throw line extended on the right side. Lichman back out front to uh, Simmons and trying to deny is Paul Clark and a foul on Paul. His first, second team foul. I think a timeout coming up here for Logan. 4-0-4 left first quarter. We'll come back after 60 seconds. It's a 14-4. Quality is our main in Just inbound. Skyview ahead by 12 at the half. The Jazz, incidentally, are ahead 21-17 in their ball game against San Antonio. Here's Jeff Boss shooting! 15-footer! Boss scores. He only gets about three points a game, but again, the excitement of the senior group is making it pay off. Mustangs are up by 12. Grizzlies look frustrated. Clark, Logan's had some easy shots. 
Here's Anderson out front. He has not been big offensively lately. Here's a three by Smith. It's good out on the left wing for Steve Smith. And the Grizzlies counter back. It's 16 to 7 now as they cut it back to nine points with that three by Steve Smith. Down inside, denied by Damon Anderson. And he knocks it away. Turnover by Jeff Ball. Down the floor comes Smith with the ball for Logan. Gives to Damon on the right side. He'll shoot a three-point shot and make it. That's his first three-point basket of the season. And it's 16 to 10. Logan's back to six after being down by 12. Simmons over to Ball. Free throw line extended right side. Down inside to Rudd. Working on Sampson. Sampson blocked it. Rebound to Smith. Smith runs for Logan. It's actually two on three. Smith down on the left side. Muscles into Baugh trying to put up a pass or a shot. And I think Jeff Baugh gets called for reaching across the arms. So Jeff Baugh has his first personal foul. Second on the Mustangs at 2.55 left first quarter. So they led 16 to four off the basket by Baugh. And then Logan's Steve Smith hit one. And then Damon Anderson hit one, three-point baskets, and now Steve Smith goes to the foul line in the region games. Again, Smith at one time had a streak of 27 straight made free throws. He's now 75% on the season, the foul shot's in. So Smith with four. Smith has not scored as big a number as the last two games for Logan, but definitely Logan's played well against Ogden and Boxeller with how he is doing it. And his second one ripples the nets, it's good, and it's 16 to 12. So Logan scores eight straight. 2.53 left in the first half, and Logan switches to his own defense. The 1-3-1 look for him. And now out front, Simmons is trying to set the offense against it. He goes to Baugh way out between the circles. Baugh will take it over to the right wing. Carlson kind of picks him up for a moment. Now Baugh drives the free throw line, gets out on the baseline to Rudd, a fall away. way short. Baugh had the rebound, but Clark comes up with it. Clark comes down the middle for Logan. Clark over on the left-hand side. Clark looks at a three-pointer. He rises on the left wing, shoots it short. Rebound, Damon Anderson. Anderson put it on the floor, backing in, right side, back out front, Carlston. Carlston into the paint. His one-hander off the glass, too hard. Carlston went for the rebound, and he got fouled over the back by Ben Lichman, who's shaking his head like, nope, I didn't do it. So Lichman already with an early seven, and then Simmons started to score. He has seven. Baugh has two for Mountain Crest. Logan has Smith with five, Sampson with four, and Anderson with three. Common foul. They inbound the ball into the corner to Sampson. Back out front now, Steve Smith. Mountain Crest is now playing his own defense on Logan. Trailing, uh, Logan is by four. Clark out on the left hand wing. Cross court pass to Smith way out on the angle right. He goes on the right hand wing area to Carlson. He brings it out between the circles. Two minutes now left, first quarter. Four point lead. Here's Paul Clark, three pointer out of the right corner. Rip. Uh, lifts the cut. No good. I thought he was going to rip it through from this angle, but it lipped out on him. Rebound comes down to Mountain Crest. I think it was uh, Lishman who had it. Now out front, Rudd with the ball. Open as Simmons for a three out of the left corner. No good. Steve Smith gets the rebound on the weak side. Smith reversed the dribble. Come down the floor. Smith off of a screen. Go to the basket. Put it up. No good. Tapped up by Anderson. No good. Out to the free throw line. It's loose. Picked up by Sampson. Steve Smith, three-point shot. Left side. Good. Steve Smith with eight. It's a one-point game. Logan has now scored 11 in a row. It's 16-15 Mountain Crest. They led 16 to four. A minute and 20 in the first quarter. Kyle Christensen, Simmons open for another three. Left side, around and out. Heartbreaker. Rebound comes down to Anderson. Anderson gets it to Clark. Clark down the middle for Logan. Clark all the way to the hoop. Drive, scores, he's fouled. Logan's got the lead. Fouls called, I think, on Ben Lishman of Mountain Crest. That'll be his second. Paul Clark with his first basket of the game. And now here comes Jeff Crosby into the game and Eric Baugh into the game. And also Nate Wilcox into the game for Mountain Crest. Paul Clark goes to the free throw line. The basket being good. Still has it. Yeah, they've now put it up on the board. I think it should be... Logan ahead, 17-16. Yeah, they finally got it figured out, and then Clark makes the free throw. So now the Grizzlies have scored 14 unanswered points, and it's an 18-16 Logan lead. 105 first quarter. It's been a <laughs> topsy-turvy game so far. All Mountain Crest early, and now all Logan in about the last three minutes. Here's a steal by Carlson, but he can't get it before it went out of bounds into the Mountain Crest cheer section on the far side. Okay, their, their student body sang the national anthem as loud and fine as any student body I have heard sing the national anthem a long time pregame. They really went after it. Dan Conger checks in and now J.J. Nielsen. So maybe back to more closer to the normal starting lineup for Mountain Crest, although Wilcox down inside maybe hasn't been a starter. 
Out front between the circles, Eric Baugh with the ball. 50 seconds left in the quarter. Nielsen has it on the left-hand wing. Now down the middle, Crosby has a three-pointer blocked by Sampson. He gets the rebound, he goes in on Crosby, he scores, and he's fouled by Crosby. Sampson blocked a three-point attempt by Crosby, got the rebound, drove length to the floor, and put it in and got fouled. That's six for Rick Sampson. Logan now with 16 straight points. 42 seconds left in the quarter, and now Sampson goes to the free throw line to shoot one. Rick Sampson's free throw is good. He has seven. Logan leads 21-16. 40 seconds left first quarter. It was 16 to four at one time for Mountain Crest. Tied it too early, Mount Chris took a 5-2 lead. I remember Logan made it 5-4, and then I think they scored like 11 straight points, most of them by Simmons and Lishman. J.J. Nielsen in the right corner, down inside to Wilcox, fall away from 10, he's a good shooter. That one hangs on the rim, and it doesn't go. Rebound of Paul Clark. Logan again gets a break opportunity. Clark firing down the right side, 15-foot shot by Paul off the rim, no good. Rebound on the far sideline, grabbed by Conger. Conger hustles to the front court, keeping the... Uh, Man away with a arm out, dribbling down the floor on the right side. Conger gets it back at the top of the key. Now Baugh out on the right side. He'll rise for a long three, banks it <laughs> at the end of the quarter. And it's good, and so we've seen a wild first quarter. It's 21 to 19, Logan with the lead after one quarter. We're coming back right after this timeout. So I stopped by this flower shop in the middle of a snowstorm, and you wouldn't believe- free throw shooter at the foul line, and he rims it, no good. And all I've talked about is Wilcox is an offensive presence, and he has not played as well this year and as much as I thought he would play. Second one by Nate, both of them lip out. Rebound Mark Thompson. Logan keeps their six-point lead with 6.35 to play in the half. Clark out on the right side for the Grizz. Pass it down inside, try to get it to Sedgwick. Knocked away by Wilcox, bad pass by Clark. Quickly, though, Mountain Crest throws it away as Eric Baugh tried to hit Wilcox to the other end, and Baugh gets a turnover. So the Mustangs give it right back to Logan. Sampson went out, Thompson in, and then Sedgwick comes in for Carlston. Those are the Logan changes. Mount Crest started their seniors. They're all out of the game now. Out between the circles, Damon Anderson for Logan. Right-hand side, Steve Smith, covered by Baugh, and a foul hold on Eric Baugh. Smith was trying to make a quick little move on him. That's now six fouls on the Stangs. Only three team fouls on Logan. In our cellular broadcast into our second quarter from Rocky Mountain Cellular leading the way in cellular technology, a U.S. West agent. Now up front, they inbound the ball to Clark. He hands it back to Smith. Smith takes it over the left side to Clark on the free throw line extended area right, uh, left. Comes the free throw line, gets bumped. Then he rises, banks from 16, doesn't get it. Ball slapped around, and Crosby can't get the handle underneath the basket. Knocked it out of bounds. So Logan gets it back. First quarter, the Grizzlies shot 7 of 17 at 12 rebounds. Mountain Crest in the first quarter shot 8 of 17 at 7 rebounds. And it was 21-19, pretty close game there at that point. Now Logan will inbound the ball. Left-hand side of the bucket here at the north, and they inbound the ball to Smith. Back it goes baseline to Tyler Sedgwick. Sedgwick throw it to the corner of the key to Clark, and his 14-footer is good by Paul Clark. Nice pass by Sedgwick on the diagonal. It's 27-19. Grizzlies get their biggest lead of the game now out to eight. Nielsen down to the right corner for the Mustangs. Nielsen out front, faking and driving as Crosby. Nice move by Jeff Crosby for the basket. He faked at the free throw line, then went right underneath and dipped it up and in. Crosby with a good dribble drive. 27 to 21. Mustangs with their first basket of the second quarter. Here's Smith, a one-hander. No good, it was a little off balance. Rebound Damon Anderson. Anderson tried to muscle it underneath, lost control of the ball, flips it back out front, and Paul Clark runs it down near the timeline. Now Mark Thompson, cross court, Logan saves it. Nice job by Damon Anderson to get the rebound there. Now Clark drives on uh, Nielsen, leaves it off for Anderson. He's and Anderson's going to get called, I think, for pushing off, trying to get to the ball. Anderson was off balance, and I don't know about that one. It looked like Damon thought he was fouled, but it's an offensive foul on Anderson. That'll be his first, fourth foul on Logan. 5.09 to play in the first half, 27-21. Logan with the lead on the Mustangs' home floor. And Mount Crest brings it up. Mount Crest jumped out to an early 16 to four lead and Logan scored 17 straight points to take the lead. Ball out between the circles now. Logan uh, still playing his zone. Nielsen with the ball, back out front to Baugh. He banked in the three at the end of the quarter that stopped the Logan 17 straight run. 
Now Baugh to the left side. They overload the left side. Here's Nielsen. Now they go skip pass cross court. Uh, uh, Simmons back in the game. They go down inside for Wilcox. Knocked away by Thompson's defense. They took it away from Nate Wilcox, and now it's picked up by Steve Smith. Ben Lishman will be in next time. It's dead for Mountain Crest. Four minutes and 30 seconds left in the half. Damon Anderson at the top of the key. Gets the pass and back passes to Paul Clark on the right wing. Now Sedgwick way out front between the circles. Ball on him defensively. Smith on the left-hand wing on Simmons. Free throw line to Mark Thompson. Wanted to move down the left side of the lane. Finds Smith out of the left corner for three. And air ball. Rebound to J.J. Nielsen. Nielsen to ball. Lead pass. Conger lay it up. Good. No, it was Simmons. Simmons scores. Great pass by Baugh. 27-23. Mustangs count it back to four. Grizzlies with the lead. Still and the ball. Smith to Clark on the right side. Down inside trying to get it to Thompson. Denied by Crosby. Knocked it out of bounds. Now Sampson and Lishman will come into the game. Sampson for Logan Lishman for Mountain Crest. John Nielsen takes Wilcox out at 3.57 of the first quarter. And it has been a high-paced, good action game so far. Clark inbound. Looking underneath, nothing there, so he goes out front to Smith. Mount Chris now looking uh, zone defense against Logan here. Yep, down in the right corner, Clark has it out front. Sedgwick, he'll take it around to the left side. He'll rise for an off-balance 10-footer, and that's an air ball. Rebound to Crosby. Crosby to Baugh. Baugh three on two. Fills the lane, goes all the way to the basket, and missed the shot. Sampson got the rebound, and he got fouled on the rebound by Crosby reaching in. So Jeff Crosby gets his second personal foul. And that is the seventh foul on the Mustangs, so it will be one and one, I believe, for Rick Sampson. Here's Matt Rudd coming in, and now Greg Cook is going to check in for Mountain Crest. Tell you, a guy award number 15 in the uh, JV game, I think it was, T.J. Hess, maybe it was number 14. He made a 12-footer at the buzzer in the sophomore game as Mountain Crest beat Logan. And again, that one bounced around on the rim and went in. And then in the JV game in overtime, Mountain Crest won at 72-69. And now we're in the varsity game here, and it's 27 to 23. 3.38 left in the half, and Rick Sampson shoots one and one. Sampson with seven. Foul shot, no good. Rebound, Thompson with the ball in traffic, muscles it up and missed it. Rebound to Lishman. So here come the Mustangs. Lishman down the floor on the right side. Now here's Nielsen trying to rise and shoot. He might have been fouled, they didn't make the call. Sedgwick, I guess, with the defense. The rebound comes down to Thompson. Thompson to Smith on the right side. Smith over on the left side to Sedgwick. Sedgwick lob pass down inside. Thompson in traffic, dips to the basket, shoots no good, rebound Mountain Crest. With the ball is Lishman. Lishman hands the ball to Cook. Cook up the sideline. Simmons with it. Simmons on the right-hand side, free throw line extended. Back pass now to Cook. Cook on the left-hand side to J.J. Nielsen down inside. Lishman had it for a moment, got knocked away. Now it's picked up by Clark in traffic. Clark comes down the middle, three on three. Clark on the wing, right side to Steve Smith, a three-point shot, right side, hit the rim, didn't go. Rebound, Sampson gets it. Back to Sedgwick on the rebound. Now back inside, and Sedgwick throws it over the top, and Smith made a great play. He knocked it out of bounds off of Cook. What a great save by Steve Smith. It was right down here below us, and it was a good play. It was not yet out of bounds. Cook thought it was, and Smith just went around Cook and just slipped it off his leg. It was a bad pass down inside, I think, by Sedgwick trying to get somebody down in there, but nobody was there. Now Thornley's in the game for Logan. He gets the inbounds pass in the right corner. Back out front to uh, Smith. Now free throw line turnaround shot by Rick Sampson. It's no good. It caroons way out to the right corner. It's picked up there by Baugh. And Baugh driving down gets fouled by Thornley. Baugh's shot went in, but he won't get it. Foul on Mark is his first, and that is five team fouls now on the Grizz at 2.33 of the first quarter. 27-23. The score's been kind of that same score for quite a while here. Again, we'll join the Jazz and San Antonio game in progress, but we got started real late here, so we're going to miss a lot of that big game in the NBA. The last score we had, the Jazz led 21-17. San Antonio, a 13-game win streak coming in. J.J. Nielsen goes out of the game. I believe it's Conger who comes back in off the bench. Out front, Rudd. Baugh over to Simmons on the right wing. Back out front to Baugh between the circles. We're down to 225. They go down inside to Lishman. His one-hander's good. Nice job. Baugh got the entry pass down to Lishman. He just went one move to the right and made it. And that gives him nine points, and it's 27 to 25. So Logan led by eight. Now the Mustangs back within two. Top of the key, Anderson. Right-hand angle, it's Steve Smith. Smith with the basketball between the circles. Smith yo-yoing. Out on him defensively is Baugh. Smith throws it right to Conger. Now Conger goes down on Smith. Conger is fouled by Smith driving to the basket on the left side before the shot went up. So Steve Smith may be smart to save a layup there. That's six fouls on Logan, though, so Mountain Crest will be shooting free throws the rest of the first half. 
27 to 25 to score. Mustangs have come back now and scored the last six. It's been a game of streaks so far. Rudd to inbound if he can. He throws it out front, and Baugh gets it right near the time strike. Now to Conger, three-point shot, left angle. It's off the rim. We got a rebound foul down underneath, and I think it's on Logan. Foul on Rick Sampson. Then on Sampson is his first, and that will be the 17th foul. So with uh, 157 to go in the first half, at the free throw line will be Conger, and Conger will shoot. I think he was fouled on the rebound, so I think it'll be the one and one. Conger's a 66% foul shooter. He had 16 points at Grizzly Gym at the Recreation Center. That was, again, the high watermark for Mountain Crest in that loss to Logan. Free shot's good by Conger. I have the Mustangs now two out of four at the foul line. The only misses by Wilcox. Second one by Conger. Good. I guess they're going to say he was fouled shooting three. I thought that maybe it was a rebound foul, but it must have been as he released, Rick Sampson came out and got him, and I didn't really see that. He makes all three free throws, so it's just like the three-point basket, and Mount Crest has now scored nine in a row themselves, and they take the lead back. 28 to 27. Thorny down inside. Anderson, one-hander on the base. It bounces around on the rim. It doesn't go, but he's fouled by Matt Rudd for the Mustangs, his first. We've had a lot of fouls called now here in the last little while. It's kind of slowed down the basketball game, and now Jeff Crosby comes off the... Bench for John Nielsen to come back into the game, and it looks like Matt Rudd slowly walking over there to sit down. Damon Anderson at the free throw line. He made his first three-point basket of the season during Logan's 17-point run. And now Anderson, junior at the foul line. Free throw's good. Anderson is a 68% foul shooter. 149 to play. We were tied early at two. If Anderson misses the free throw, this will be the second tie. He does not, so Logan takes the lead back. We haven't had an official second tie of the game yet. Quickly, though, Baugh gets it up to Simmons on the left wing. Back to Crosby down the middle. Right-hand side, Conger around the Logan zone. They get it to Baugh. Baugh hands it back now to Dave Simmons. Simmons back to Eric Baugh. Minute 35 left in the half. One-point lead for Logan. Here's Simmons falling away for three on the right angle. Rattles. Won't stay. Rebound baseline. Crosby in traffic. He dropped the ball. Picks it up and gets it back out front to Baugh. Nice play by Crosby to keep it alive. Simmons will launch another three. This one he gets. That took him two tries. Simmons now with 12 points in the game, and it's Mountain Crest 31-29. Conger with a nice quick zip to him to get it up and in. Here's Thornley on the dribble drive. Back pass Clark. Clark, a 17-foot shot off the rim. No good. Rebound through the hands of Anderson, but he gets it over on the left side for Logan. Back out front to Smith. Smith with a minute to go in the first half. Two-point game. Thornley takes it on the right-hand angle for Logan. Lob pass underneath. Damon's got it, and he puts it in. Nice play. Anderson gets, catches it up high and scores it. Seven for him, and there is our second tie of the game, 31 all. Now it's Conger on the right side, top of the key, Crosby. Simmons quickly, ball out of the left corner, 4-3. Off the rim, no good. Crosby gets the rebound and banks it in. Well, Crosby cleared out Thornley and made the basket. 33-31. We're down to the last 30 seconds of the first half. Steve Smith with a basketball for Logan. Mustangs defense back to man-to-man -man now. We're under 25 seconds. Out front, Clark trying to run some clock, and it's dribbled right away from him from Simmons. Here's Thornley back on him defensively, and he fouled him on the drive before he can make the basket, but Simmons is a great foul shooter. I'll tell you, Mountain Crest a couple times tonight has just dribbled it away from the Logan uh, people out front. 33-31 Mustangs. They led the game at Grizzly Gym 31-30 at the half. Kyle Christensen coming in for Mountain Crest, and he'll take out, uh, he'll replace Jim Crosby here, or Jeff Crosby make it. So Crosby goes to the bench with four points. Just made that rebound hoop that gives him the lead. And now, as we said, a good free throw shooter, Simmons, shoots and makes. He has 13. He had seven early during Mountain Crest's great start, and now has come back and made Six in the quarter. And now the second shot by Dave Simmons is in and out. Rebound Chris Nickerson for Logan. Gets it to Thornley. Three-point lead, Mountain Crest, last 15 seconds, first quarter. Simmons with the ball, or uh, Smith with the ball for Logan out front on Baugh. Smith stops the dribble, got to get rid of it. Finally finds Thornley on the left-hand wing. Thornley drives to the free throw line with four seconds. Jump pass down inside and put up and in by Clark at the end of the half. Nice play by Logan. 
And at the half, Mountain Crest has a one-point lead. It's 34-33 for the Mustangs. That's a good first half, and we will return with more in two minutes. Back the lead, 34-33. They outscore Logan in the second quarter by 15-12. And again, Logan did have a, a lead at 27-19. So to finish the uh, quarter, uh, Mountain Crest scored their 15 points after Logan had built it up to eight, and Logan from that point on only got six. So it's a 15 to eight, a 15 to six game. So uh, Mountain Crest on, I think they had like about a seven point run there before Logan stopped it. So again, early Mountain Crest had an 11 point run. Logan had a 17 point run, and then now oh, Mountain Crest, uh, then Logan got on another little one where they took it out to about six in a row, and then Mountain Crest was able to come back and get nine in a row, so, or uh, eight or seven in a row, I guess it was. So again, it, I, it was eight. So they've, it's been a game of streaks. Here's the scoring in the first half. Dave Simmons leads the Mustangs with 13. Ben Lishman with nine. Four for Jeff Crosby. Three for Dan Conger. Three for Eric Baugh. And two for Jeff Baugh. Everybody else who played for Mountain Crest, four other players did not score in the uh, first half. In fact, five other players played and did not score. John Nielsen's used everybody but Chad Campbell in the first half. For Logan, nothing off the bench, but 10 for Steve Smith, 7 for Paul Clark, 7 for Damon Anderson, 7 for Rick Sampson, and 2 for Craig Carlston in the first half of play. Looks like uh, Mountain Crest hit on 14 of 28 shots in the first half, so they shoot about 50%. And again, they've been able to make some three-point baskets. They have 12 rebounds. Logan has started to take the rebounding edge. Lishman has six rebounds to lead Mountain Crest. Simmons have been able to make five of nine shots. Logan in the first half, 12 of 30. And again, a lot of those shots that they missed were pretty easy ones. Sampson has eight rebounds in the first half of play. He blocked that one three-pointer and uh, by Crosby, drove down and then made a three-point uh, three play himself, making the layup and, and then getting the uh, free throw after that. So it's been a game of interesting plays. The Jazz are ahead at the half, 38-37 over San Antonio. And with two minutes to go, it's... Skyview 66 and Box Elder 46. So again, with that loss, that would put Mountain Crest in the state tournament without a playoff game no matter what happens here. But again, the Mustangs want to get a victory. And right now they lead it by one, 34 to 33. And we'll be back with more at Mustang Arena with the second half on the Valley Channel and more on KBNU after we take this timeout. Hi, John Diamond here, manager of the Pizza... The Valley Channel, TV 12, K12 OT, Logan, Utah. Look out now, there's a storm coming. And also with the KBNU just about ready for the second half of the Mustangs and the Grizzlies, just want to mention Comfort Inn is one of our game sponsors. You can really get that night away without having to go out of town. The Comfort Inn makes it so possible right there on Main Street in uh, Logan. Make sure you check with the Comfort Inn for that special night away. Also brought to you by Deseret Industries. Remember when you buy from or contribute to Deseret Industries, you bring new life to all kinds of goods and a good life to all kinds of people. Deseret Industries, one of our club sponsors. So again, Mountain Crest hits just about 50% of their shots. What were the turnovers in the first half? Let's see. Logan had a total of nine turnovers. Mount Crest had eight. So both teams about even in that department as well. Again, leading scorers, 13 for Dave Simmons for Mount Crest and nine for Ben Lishman. For Logan, Steve Smith had 10. And then three other players had seven in the first half. Pretty good balance. But again, Logan got zero off of their bench. And when you consider who started this game for Mount Crest, again, Simmons and Lishman were both in the starting lineups as seniors. Got off the bench, they got three from Ba, they got three from Conger, they got four from Crosby. So they got 10 off their bench, although those guys might normally be starters. Believe Mountain Crest gets the ball to start the second half, and it looks like that uh, John Nielsen will go with J.J. Nielsen, Jeff Crosby, Matt Rudd, Dave Simmons, and Eric Ba, and Logan will go back to the original starting lineup. So here we go, we got 16 more minutes of basketball and again, they roll it in the backcourt to Eric Baugh and we're underway. Baugh attacks towards the north basket. Here at Mustang Arena, it's to our right, Valley Channel's left. 
Ball has it out top of the key. Yo Yo with the ball, covered by Steve Smith. Ball works to come to the right side, and he does to Crosby. Down inside to J.J. Nielsen. He throws it back in the corner to Simmons. Back to J.J. Posted up on Clark. Back to Simmons on the angle right. Back to Nielsen. Nielsen in the right corner. Drives corner of the key and throws the pass out front. It was knocked by Sampson into the backcourt. That's uh, almost a backcourt violation because I think Mountcrest actually knocked it back there. Here's J.J. for three. Around and out. And Sampson gets the rebound for Logan. That gives him nine. Gets it to Steve Smith. I'll tell you, Sampson only 6-1 is an excellent rebounder. Smith out front to Carlson on the angle left side. Free throw line, Damon Anderson. Back pass to Carlson. Carlson corner the key right side. Now he looked at a three for a moment, then he gives it to Clark out front. One point lead, Mountain Crest. We start the second half. Underneath the basket, trying to hit Anderson. Stolen by Simmons. Bad pass by Steve Smith. He threw it too high for Damon. Now Crosby comes down the left side. Leaves it for Simmons way out on the left-hand angle. Back to Crosby. Crosby, 14-foot corner of the key. Shots good. Tell you, Crosby at times can just look imposing. His brother going to be a fine player, I'm sure, next year when he starts to play at Southern Utah. 36-33 the score. Mountain Crest by three. Free throw line extended for Carlston on the right side. They want to go down inside. You can tell Carlston just fights to the basket, puts it up, and no good. Right in front of the basket. The rebound to Crosby. Crosby, Baugh, Baugh down the left side to Simmons. He drives all the way and then blows the cripple. Rebound, though, grabbed by Nielsen. Out on the angle, a three by Simmons, and it bounces over the top of the backboard, but Crosby's out of bounds. It went over the top of the backboard, Chuck Vogrinick. It should be Logan Ball. And finally, the Grizzlies get it. Simmons' three-point shot hit the rim and then went over the top of the backboard. 6.15 to play in the third. Mountain Crest has the only basket of the second half. They lead by three. They're playing man-to-man -man defense. Carlston down in the corner to Clark. Back out front, Carlston to Sampson. Left-hand side angle to Smith. He's the only guy on the left side of the floor. Now Clark, a long, long three. This one's no good. No chance for anybody to rebound. Except Smith had a chance at it, but Crosby comes up with it. That's Cousin taking it away from Cousin. Now Smith up the floor. Get it to uh, Simmons, baseline to Nielsen. Back pass, Dave Simmons. Launch another three. This one's short. We got a rebound foul, and it's going to be on Mountain Crest. Rudd pushing in on Anderson. Matt Rudd gets the first foul of the second half. We haven't had a lot of fouls called tonight. We had a little stretch there to the end of the first half with a bunch of fouls. Took Logan a while to get to the one and one. Rocky Mountain Cellular again, our cellular sponsor with the equipment, airtime technology. They can do it for your business too, your US West Cellular agent. Out the hand of Damon Anderson down inside. Couldn't make the catch on Carlston's pass. Here comes Mountain Crest after another T.O. It's Simmons top of the key to uh, no look pass down inside. Rudd hits Crosby. Crosby rises, she shoots short. Crosby thought he was fouled. Carlston saves it back onto the floor, but Crosby knocked it out of bounds. They're going to give it back to Mountain Crest. It's got to be Logan Ball. Yeah, the official just pointed the wrong direction is what he did. Official was giving it to Logan, but he pointed the wrong way. Crosby with a nice hustle, though. you got to give him credit. John Nielsen and Mountain Crest thought that Crosby had been fouled on that shot. Logan got a blocked shot out of it and got away with it. 36-33. Clark down to the right side. Damon Anderson down inside. Fall away on the base. Around and out. Damon gets the rebound, though, and he puts it up off balance. No good. Knocked around for a bit. Picked up by Eric Baugh in the backcourt. Baugh comes down the middle. Baugh cross-court pass. Simmons leaves it back for Crosby. Crosby, top of the key. Goes to Baugh. Three-point shot. Right side. Good. Three-point shot from Eric Baugh. Second of the game. Mountain Crest with a six-point lead starting the second half, the way they started the first half, getting off to a good lead. Carlston top of the key to Sampson. Sampson to Smith on the left-hand angle, and now a timeout called by Larry Comedina quickly in the third quarter. We have 4.37 to go in the third quarter. We'll join the Jazz and Spurs after we're done here. It's 50-49 to 49 in that ball game. The Spurs lead in the third quarter, and here it's 39-33 Mustangs. Back in one minute. It takes a lot to be a winner. It takes planning and commitment and usually a strong advisor. Someone with the experience and strength to help you achieve your goals. At Cash Valley Bank, we're committed to helping you achieve your financial goals. For something as simple as your first savings account or just plain financial advice, see us at Cash Valley Bank because at Cash Valley Bank, our business is you. Cash Valley Bank, our business is you. Be a part of NBA action with the new NBA Off the Court Frames. Right now at Standard Optical, you buy the frames and we'll throw in the lenses free. It's a sure shot. Money in the bank. 
It's the standard optical and NBA off the court free throw package. We throw the lenses in free. Free throw. No pressure. You deserve it. You earned it. So work hard, score the frames, and get the lenses free with the standard optical and NBA off the court free throw package. Standard optical. Don't miss it. Knocks the ball away from Logan on the inbounds play. Logan out front. Smith left it for Carlston, and Carlston had it dribbled off of his leg out of bounds. Dan Conger is going to check in for the Mustangs now here. He's going to replace Simmons. Rudd is also going out, and Lishman's back in for him. Mount Crest has started the second half 5 to nothing, with the lead. The inbound the ball to Baugh, who's made a three-pointer to start the second half. Two in the game for him. Mount Crest with the six-point lead. Skyview has won 84-61 over Box Elder. So Sky Mount Crest is in the tournament no matter what. Here's Baugh open, 15-foot shot good by Eric. Just dribbled around, he was wide open. He's got eight points, 41-33. Again, Mount Crest with a good start to start the second half. Smith on the wing, right side to Clark. Damon Anderson comes out and gets the pass. Now Anderson standing out front, one bounce dribble, goes over to Carlston on the right side. Underneath the basket to Clark, fall away, good from 10 feet. Logan finally breaks the ice after Mount Crest got the first seven. Now up the floor is Conger on the wing. Conger drives the baseline, tried to scoop it under the basket, it hit the bottom of the backboard, it goes out to Baugh for the rebound, and now Crosby shoots for a long three, and he makes it. Three-pointer from Crosby, the assist from Baugh. It's 44-35. Mustangs by nine. That is their biggest lead of the game, except for that 16 to four early. Now Clark, dribble driving and fouled by J.J. Nielsen, who's trying to hang on the hip. So Nielsen with his first personal foul, common foul, second on the Mustangs, the second half ball out of bounds to Logan, right-hand side of the bucket at the south. Again, Mustangs by nine. Inbound the ball to Clark, his three is short, out on the right side, Anderson gets the rebound and his 14-footer's down. Anderson with nine, 44-37. Mustangs by seven and with the ball. Nielsen fake a three out of the right corner. Tried to get it into the key, it's knocked away. Bad pass by J.J. Hit some Logan player in the hip, I think it was, or maybe one of his own. Picked up by Sampson, he leaves it for Smith. We got three minutes left in the third. Smith just yo-yoing out front of the ball. Goes to Clark now, Clark comes around the top of the key, hands to Carlson, top of the key, fall away from 17, it's flat and short. Sampson got the rebound out inside, and Nielsen, in bad rebound position, was over the back of Sampson, as Sampson got the inside alley to the hoop. So Logan picks up uh, another common foul on Mountain Crest. Ball goes out of bounds. 44-37 the score. It's inbounded by Carlson out on the wing. Right-hand side to Smith. He lobs over here to Clark now. Clark down inside Anderson. He gets pushed down by Lishman, but he gets the ball back out to Clark. Clark now drives underneath. Runs into Lishman, who cut off the baseline. It's a turnover on Paul Clark. Picked up by Baugh. Left-hand side, Conger. He accelerates now into the basket. Now he fakes. He waits. Blocked by Anderson, but a foul on Damon. He left his feet to block the shot. He checked it up on top, but the foul is there. Second on Anderson. Conger at the foul line. Remember, he made the three straight free throws for Mountain Crest in the second quarter when he got fouled, missing a three-point attempt. Now Kyle Christensen, senior, is going to check in for Anderson. Or I'm sorry, for Nielsen. 235 left in our third quarter. Also brought tonight by Big O Tires. Again, the reputation you can ride on from Big O Tires. Free throw by Conger is perfect. Conger has all four of his points at the foul line. He only made three of seven against Logan at the rec center and only made one of three against him at Preston. So he was just four for 10 coming in. Now he's made the five for five. And the Mustangs back to a nine point bulge. 46-37, 230 left in the third quarter. Smith out on the left side, Carlston. Carlston lobbed to Damon down inside. Back pass to Craig Carlston. Back it goes to Anderson down inside. They collapse on him. Anderson with a weak pass, but Carlston gets it. Fights it back to Anderson, and his one-hander is good off the glass. He made an adjustment in the air, and Carlston with a pass. 46-39. 2.14 left in the third quarter. Christensen outside. Crosby down inside. Posted his Lishman in the low block. He just turned and scored it as Anderson doesn't want another foul. Lishman scored to give Crosby the entry pass, and it's 48-39. Two minutes left, third quarter. Smith leaves for Carlston out front for Logan. Carlston drives on Conger on the baseline. His one-hander's good. Carlston's second basket of the game, 48-41. Mount Crest back to the seven-point lead with the ball back. Conger goes down inside to Lishman again. Back to the basket, Anderson. Back to Conger way out front. Now it's Christensen at the point. Right-hand side, three-point shot. Crosby way long, no good that time. He made one a moment ago, misses that one. 
Carlston gets the rebound with a minute and a half left in the third quarter. Bucket here, and Logan could cut it to five. Mount Crest has controlled the quarter, though. Carlston down inside Anderson. Back pass Craig. Three-pointer lined up right side off the rim. Christensen gets the board for the Mustangs off of his hip, but he runs it down. Now Bach quickly comes down the middle. Bought a conger on the left-hand side. Entry down to Lishman. Turns on Anderson. Gets Damon to foul him. Again, Damon working with him and then leaving the feet. And they're going right after Anderson, and he's got three fouls now with a minute and 12 left in the third. It'll be Ben Lishman at the foul line, and Ben, the senior, is having a fine game. 11 might be a high for him this year in scoring. I remember he had a 10-point game in one region game, as I recall. Mark Thompson's going to come in for Damon Anderson, and now Matt Rudd is also in for Mountain Crest. And here comes Chris Nickerson into the game for Sampson. And here comes uh, Max Johnson and Tyler Sedgwick in. So everybody out for Logan starters except Steve Smith. Mount Crest actually started the game with Lishman and Christensen in there and Rudd, and they're in the game right now. Lishman wants the ball, you can tell, real badly. Mountain Crest is 7 for 10 at the foul line tonight, right at about their season average. Lishman with a long look at it. Free shot, no good. He'll get one more. 48-41 with a minute and 12 left in the third. John Nielsen with probably a defensive call to his team. Here's Lishman's second. Good. Lishman has 12. 49-41. Eight-point lead for MCHS with uh, 107 left third quarter. Max Johnson out on the left-hand wing for Logan. Between the circle, Sedgwick, right-hand side. Now it's Smith. He dribble drives on Boz. One-hander on the base was forced and missed. Rebound, Rudd. Rudd for the Stangs, leaves it to Boz. Boz gets it down quickly. He does again with a pass to Christensen on the left-hand wing. He drives the free-throw line. His 14-foot one-hander, back heel, no good. Max Johnson rebounds. Max to Steve Smith. Smith up the sideline, Sedgwick on the left side. Sedgwick down under the basket, Mark Thompson. He's backing in on the left side. Jump pass, cross court, Johnson. Gets it to Sedgwick. Sedgwick rises, off balance, fall away short. It's an air ball. Rebound grabbed by Lishman. Lishman gets the ball to Baugh. Baugh, baseline, Rudd. 15-footer, Matt Rudd, good! He buried it. And Mount Crest leads by 10 with 20 seconds left in the third. Steve Smith out front. Smith backs back for Logan. Still dribbling the ball, now he stops. He goes to Mark Thompson. Thompson at the free throw line. Loses control for a moment. Gotta find somebody, find Smith down inside, posted. He forced it up on Baugh and he missed it. Rudd got the rebound. Here comes the Mustangs with five seconds. Over on the left side, it's Christensen. His shot's going, yes, at the end of the quarter. Mount Crest by 12, they're running now and going. It's 53, 41 after three. Mount Crest with the lead, back after this timeout. Ah, leisure time. You know there's nothing like getting where you want to go. That's why Jack's Tire and Oil have always sold Michelin's. I guess our quality product and honest service has kept us in Northern Utah for over 40 years. Since my son and his boys have taken over the business, I've got lots of leisure time. That's why I take my Michelin's wherever I go. I would recommend Bridgerland Applied Technology Center to anyone who is interested in finding a job. The training is excellent, the job placement is high, and we've got something here for everybody. Whether you're still in high school or would like to learn a new skill, the BATC is the place you've been looking for. With 12 full-time, 19 high school, and hundreds of individualized open entry, open exit programs to pick from, the BATC is the answer for your future. The BATC, employment through training. All right, what a quarter for Mountain Crest. 19 to eight, beating Logan. Logan gets the ball to start the last quarter, but again, the Grizzlies in a lot of trouble. comedina has got a lot of younger players in there right now. Carlston's back in, he gets the pass on the left-hand side. Carlston goes to Nickerson at the free throw line. Chris back pass, Sedgwick fake a three. Mountain Crest playing zone, and they take it away from Sedgwick. Here comes Conger down the right side, all the way, lay it up and in. Mustang still running. 55-41, and Sedgwick almost loses it again, and now a quick timeout for Comedina. Timeout, 26 seconds into the fourth quarter. We're coming back with 7.34 to play. It's 55-41, Mountain Crest leading by 14. You think you've seen a soft taco? Well, if you have time for the real thing, just listen.
as for the other guy's soft taco. So, get a freshly made soft beef taco from Taco Time. It's yours for a song. Just 99 cents for a limited time. Sounds good. What's new with Palmer's? 94 Osmobiles, like this Achieva. The comfortable Sierra. The new 88 Olds. The special edition Silhouette. Or the Bravado. See it today at Palmer's. Palmer's, it's a pretty nice place. Well, the Mustangs are running their break, getting some early shots. They're doing a good job. Down inside, Logan goes to Mark Thompson. He goes through his hands. They take another one away. Bunch of turnovers in a row. Simmons, lead pass, catching it is Christensen in traffic, blocked from behind by Mark Thompson. He blocked it clean. Down to Smith on the left side. His shot is in and out from three-point range. Nickerson rebounds. He scores, but he won't get the basket. The foul's on Matt Rudd before the basket went up and in. San Antonio in the third quarter leads the Jazz 57-53. When we're done here, if there's any of that game left, we'll go to that game in progress in the NBA tonight. It's 55-41 here. Now Chris is really starting to make this. Again, if Logan doesn't quickly come back again, Logan scored 17 straight to get back into it after they were down by a 14 or 12 early. Inside to Sampson, shot off the bench, no good. Sampson just barely came back into the game. Lishman with another rebound. That senior's played very well. He gets it to Ball. Ball comes up the left side. Logan's in a man-to-man. -man. Now Christensen out front. He just canned a nice shot at the end of the quarter. Christensen, ball away from 14. Two in a row for the senior, Kyle Christensen. Again, it's senior night here, and then Logan has an inbounds violation. Mount Chris gets the ball. Well, the turnovers have really hurt Logan this half, and again, Mount Chris has forced a lot of them. Now Jeff Ball is going to get a chance to come back in. He replaces his brother, Eric with 6.51 to go in the ball game. Into our fourth quarter of our cellular broadcast. Also brought to tonight by Thornapple Valley Tri-Miller right here in Hiram. Going great Cash Valley people with the fine meat products. Now a substitution for Logan Damon Anderson in for Chris Nickerson. And it's 57-41 Mustangs. They led by one at the half. Big third quarter for him. Again, a first quarter big for Mountain Crest early and then Logan came back. Now there's a shot by Simmons, partially blocked by Anderson. It's rebounded, though, by Simmons. He rebounds his own shot. Now here's a three-point shot by Jeff Baugh. No good. And actually, it was just a two. Christensen had the rebound, and it was ripped away from Car by Carlston. Carlston gets his third personal foul. Steve Smith is saying, wasn't that a jump ball? Christensen had the rebound. It was coming down, and then Carlston did get leather, but just yanked him down with the ball. So the personal is called. In this half, that's only three on Logan. Chuck Vogrina getting a towel to wipe off perspiration on the basketball. There were a couple of big arms, Carlston's and Christensen's that had it. 6.35 to play. Mount Crest, again, if uh, Logan doesn't come back into it here real soon, Mount Crest's going to have that third place tie with Logan. They inbound the ball in the corner to Christensen. Out front to Conger. I'm sorry, to Simmons between the circles. Back it comes to Christensen. Fake a little move to the left. Now he goes cross court, skip pass. Down inside Simmons. Gets it down there and a four shots on the way by uh, Rudd, no good. And then Rudd going for the rebound, fouled. Oftentimes you see that happen. So Rudd tried to get it up and in for his second field goal of the game. He missed it, he's got four fouls. He will go to the bench. Jeff Crosby comes in with 6.21 to go. In a nice second half by Mountain Crest. And they had some, I mean, they played pretty well down the stretch at the end of the first half. You could see they were starting to gain momentum. And they continued it here in the second half. Max Johnson for Logan out on the right side. Carlston over to Smith. The three-pointer on the left side is good by Steve Smith. That's the way you can get back into it. Smith's first basket of the second half. He has 13. 57-44. Grizzlies cut it down to 13-point lead now. Jeff Baugh out front for the Mustangs. Cross-court pass Simmons. Down in the left corner to Crosby. Covered by Sampson and Logan's man-to-man. -man. Out front, it's Dave Simmons with the ball. Covered by Smith. Gives it up to Christensen. Cross-court. Christensen, right-hand angle. Just yo-yoing. Johnson on him defensively. Stops the dribble now and hands back. Eric ba or Jeff Baugh down in the corner, right side to Crosby on Smith. Out front now, it's Christensen shooting from 15. Oh, no good. Rebound. Damon Anderson gets it, clears it to Smith. Smith comes up the left side for Logan. Smith pull up, 17-foot shot by Steve. Back heel, no good. Way out front, rebound to Simmons. Now it's going down the floor. Mount Crest. Simmons now waits. Waits till like it's throw four on three. Throws to Christensen underneath for a great shot. 
great assist by Simmons. 59-44, 15 point lead. Mustangs, and it's Carlson for Logan. Going into the key, shooting a 10 foot shot, not getting it. Anderson's tap is no good. Rebound, Mountain Crest fights for two of it. Fight for it out of bounds, and they run into each other, and it'll be Logan ball back, as Simmons and Crosby were both gonna try to save it. Mountain Crest by 15. Brought to you tonight by Morris Travel, and we have another timeout by Logan with 5.06 to go. Morris Travel, your American Express travel agency. Let's take 60 seconds here with 59-44 the score. Mountain Crest leading Logan. It's the Megatronics Multimedia Upgrade Sale. Add interactive games, video, and CD sound to your computer for just $299. And we'll install it and make sure it works right. Take off. We'll even throw in a multimedia encyclopedia. Free. One more important hey, thing. Codger, but hurry in. Up. This deal won't last long. Megatronics, 254 North Main, next to Weston's Lamplighter in Logan. of your Alpine car stereo and audio video needs, see Lynn, 1655 North Main in Logan. Another timeout for Larry Comedina. There he brings in Lance Polson, a good outside three-point shooter. Paul Clark's back in, a pretty good outside shooter. I think he realizes, Comedina does, Logan's coach, that he needs some threes to get back in the game. Clark looked at one, now he drives on the baseline and banks in an easy shot. They gave him the opening lane and he scored it. Clark has 11, 59-46. 13-point lead, Mountain Crest. Christensen down inside. Crosby fakes on Steve Smith. He's got a big size advantage, and he puts it right up and in on Steve Smith. That's Jeff Crosby at 6'4", and 5'10", Steve Smith, his cousin, playing him. He can't stop him. Here's Steve Smith for three. Yes! Well, he counters back and gets one more than the cousin. 61-49. Still Mountain Crest by 12, with 4.28 left. A game of streaks, and it's been Mountain Crest in the second half. Here's Christensen, 15-foot shot, no good back heel. Goes to the corner, grabbed by Carlston. Carlston quickly down the sideline in front of the Mountain Crest bench. Down in the corner, Lance Polson, three-pointer, left side, hits the rim, doesn't go. Smith gets the rebound, free throw line, going for the shot. Simmons knocked it out of his hands, great play. And then Christensen picks it up in the traffic. He gets it to Jeff Ball. Bob bounce pass, Crosby down the middle, rolling in, and he's fouled by Paul Clark. Basket's good. It was rolling in. I mean, he got it up rolling around on the rim, and it did go. Crosby has 13. Foul on Paul Clark is his second. I believe that's now about uh, five, uh, four fouls on Logan this half. At the end of three quarters, San Antonio 64, Jazz 61. And if we're, not, if we're done, when they're still going, we'll go to that game in progress. 84-61, Skyview won the region outright, beat Box Elder at Box Elder tonight. Free throw, Crosby good. Three-point play the old way. Crosby's had big games against Logan, hasn't he? Here's another three, Polson, right side, he missed it. Rebound, Jeff Ball on the weak side. 64-49, Mountain Crest, under four minutes to go. Down on the left side, Simmons. Out front, it's uh, Lishman handing the ball to Jeff Ball. Ball with Smith on him defensively. Back on the wing, left-hand side to Simmons. Back to Ball, way out front, running the clock. From behind, Smith knocked the ball away. Polson knocks it free. Grabbed by Nielsen, he hands back to Jeff Baugh. Baugh just dribbles away. Baugh dribbles into the paint, gets it underneath the Crosby. Crosby is maybe fouled, he didn't make it. He puts it up again and he gets it blocked again and Logan saves it. Damon Anderson blocked two straight shots. Great save by Polson and then a foul called at the other end on Simmons as he stole the ball. It looked like on the baseline as Clark was gonna rise. Simmons with his second. So with 3.20 left in the ball game here, we're on KVNU Logan, Al Lewis and Hiram. John Nielsen wants Dave. Free throw, Paul Clark's good. Oh, 
Okay, I'm back. I don't know what happened, but I'm ready anytime. All right, somebody disconnected our phone. Logan's Paul Clark made both free throws. Logan stole the inbounds play, and Carlston hit a three-pointer. But now down to the other end, Mountain Crest Lishman is fouled by Paul Clark with three minutes to go. Logan has cut it to a 10-point game. It was up to as many as 15. The foul on Paul Clark is his third personal foul. So it will be Lishman at the free throw line. Lishman has made two of three free throws, and he has 12 points in the game. So now Lishman will shoot one more free throw, or shoot uh, one and one here. He's down, on, maybe they're gonna rule two. Yeah, they're gonna rule two. He was down underneath waiting to shoot. And so that's probably the right call. He was right underneath the basket. So Lishman shooting two. Seniors had a big night tonight and he makes it. Keep losing the power. All right, Lishman made one free throw, missed the other one, but Mountain Crest gets the rebound, and now out front with the basketball is Eric Baugh. Baugh at the top of the key. Over on the right-hand side, it's Jeff Baugh. Back out front to Eric Baugh. 2.42 to go. You go to J.J. Nielsen. Mountain Crest leads by 11. Now down in the corner, Crosby. Ball knocked out of his hands and grabbed by Logan. Max Johnson brings it down for the Grizz. On the right-hand side, it's Steve Smith. Another three-point shot by Steve. This one back heel, no good. Paul Clark fouled on that rebound. They didn't make the call. Mount Crest got the rebound with Crosby. Gets it off now to Eric Baugh. Baugh in the backcourt. Logan tried to trap him. Pass the ball to brother Jeff, and he gets it off to Jeff Crosby. Driving underneath to J.J. Nielsen. Foul on Paul Clark. Going for the basket with 2.15 to go. Nielsen looked like he's going to get a layup. Paul Clark has four fouls, three of them here in the quarter. 65 to 54 is the score. And now it'll be J.J. Nielsen going to the free throw line for the Mustangs. Nielsen has not scored in the basketball game. So Lichman up there a moment ago made one out of two. He has 13 points, and the free shot is good by Nielsen. We had a couple of times where our telephone power, for some reasons, decided to go out. We apologize for that here. We're back now, I believe, and here's Nielsen shooting one more after he made the first, and Mountain Crest lead is 13. Again, they grabbed control of this game early in the third quarter after they started to rally back in the second quarter after Logan had an eight-point lead. Here's Carlson under the basket to Sampson. His shot's good. Nice play by Logan there, but still the Grizzlies are down by 11 with two minutes to go. Now Crosby in the backcourt. Again, this is a pretty good foul to free throw shooting team in Mountain Crest if you foul him. Here's Lishman lobbing it back out front to Baugh to try to run the clock. Baugh cross court Nielsen. Now back to Baugh over on the left-hand side. Baugh gets it baseline to brother Jeff. He drives underneath. He puts it up. He doesn't get it. Rebound to Rick Sampson for Logan. He outlets over on the far sideline to Carlston. A minute and 40 to go. Carlston over to Paul Clark. Clark drives underneath. Reverse left with the left hand. It's good. Clark scores, cuts it to nine. 67 to 58 in the backcourt. Here's a little tentative pass by uh, uh, Crosby, but it's grabbed by Jeff Baugh. Baugh working around on Carlston underneath. Carlston goes for the steal from behind and knocks it out of bounds with a minute and 22 left. So now coming in for Mountain Crest is going to be Matt Rudd. Crosby goes out. Jeff Baugh. Also goes out of the game, and Dave Simmons back in. He's a great free thrower, of course. 67 to 58. The inbound in the corner, left side, J.J. Nielsen. Now front throws it away, and Smith will get it. Smith gets it down at the other end. Left-hand layup is good, and the Grizzlies cut it to seven off the bad play. Steve Smith now in the game with a total of about 17. 67 to 60 with a minute and five to go, and here's a backcourt foul. Carlston fouls Rudd. Carlston has four fouls. Matt Rudd is a 43% foul shooter. I guess you pick the right guy if you want a foul here. It will be, I guess, one and one. That must be the seventh foul on Logan. Scoreboard still only says six, but now they've gone to seven. Again, brought to you tonight by Best Western Weston Inns, the Mountain West's finest accommodations. And remember, performance tire. Again, great service specials and also the great tire deals. Third North and Main and Logan, a couple of our sponsors. Rudd's free throws, good! 
Well, he's a senior playing his last game here at Mustang Arena. He stands the line and makes it, even though he's only 43% on the year. He has three points tonight, has had some rebounds. Second one by Matt is short. And Mountain Crest Lishman picks up a big rebound. That one is a biggie. Because Logan thought they were going to get at least maybe one out of two. And now Sampson has to come out and foul Rudd again with 59 seconds to go. Only two fouls on Sampson. Rudd will go back to the line and shoot one and one again. Damon Anderson checking in for Rick Sampson here. 69-60 the score. 68-60 make it with 59 seconds left on the clock. And Mount Crest only up by one at the half. They scored about the first seven points of the second half. Got off to a good start and eventually it was a real rip as they went on Logan at the end of the third quarter. He missed the shot. Rebound Anderson gets it to Smith with the three-point shot still in. Logan's got some time. Here's Carlston driving though inside for an easy two. 68-62. Long lead pass. Nielsen's ahead of the pack. He didn't catch it cleanly on Damon Anderson. He puts it up and in, and he's fouled by Damon. He waited for it. Then he got the body advantage, and Damon let him have it. And the junior, Nielsen, went right to the basket and made the scoop shot. Anderson had a chance to maybe stop the play out front because uh, J.J. didn't catch the long lead pass clean. Now Crest alertly looking for that lead pass when Logan's trying to steal the ball in the backcourt. The free shot by Nielsen rattles and stays. He has five, 71-62, nine point lead again for Mountain Crest, a big three point play there. Logan to cut it to six. Smith, hand the ball now to Carlson, around the top of the key and Carlson's 15 footer around the rim, no good. Rebound Paul Clark underneath, reverse layup is good. Tough shot by Paul Clark, he made it. 71-64, under 30 seconds. Again, that long lead pass, and then Max Johnson slaps it out of bounds on J.J. Nielsen in front of the Mount Crest bench. So Mount Crest will now inbound in front of their bench. Logan's got to expect Mount Crest is going to be looking for that long release now. It's 71-64, six, seven-point lead. Mustangs with 26 seconds left. They inbound the ball into the backcourt to Eric Baugh, and Smith knocks it away from him. Steve Smith gets it. Steve Smith go to the basket and score it. It's a five-point game, 17 seconds. Daniel Simmons, backcourt, not fouled, not fouled. They get it off to Rudd, and Rudd scores. That's a big, big hoop right there. That'll do it. Clock running. Mount Crest is going to tie Logan for third place. Smith went to shoot the shot, and he was fouled. Mount Crest students are on the floor. I don't know if they'll let him shoot free throws or not. It's not going to make any difference in the game anyhow. I think Chuck Vogrinick is going to tell Steve that, but Steve's going to go to the foul line and say, well, we might as well make it just a little bit more here. Mount Crest students are celebrating behind Steve Smith. And now Steve Smith is saying, isn't this a technical? But still, Steve, the clock is really out. So even if he shoots three free throws and makes it 73 to 69 and they get two shots from technicals, it's still only 73-71. So I don't think they can make a, a, a seven-point play out of the technicals. They're trying to clear the, uh, the court. The clock ran out, and I don't know if they're going to put time back on the clock or not. My guess at this point is that they are not going to do that. <laughs> There's a young kid from the Bowcrest section comes out and says something to Steve Smith. In fact, he's standing right over on the side while Steve shoots the free throw, and he missed it. So they're just gonna let Steve shoot him out there with nobody on the court. The game's over. Second shot by Smith is good, and he'll get one more. Makes it 73 to 67, and the third one is good. It's 73-68, but there's the ball game. So the Mount Crest Mustangs have tied Logan for third place. There'll be a coin toss to decide which team goes third and which team goes fourth in the region. We'll come back and start our post-game report right after this timeout. Thank <laughs> you. 